from bottom to top, I roll Chopping them rocks and no Cocking the clock and blow No more of that, now I just hop in a drop and go to the most Guys, pop what is up? Welcome to another to episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is a sample shopping episode. These episodes are span sponsored by DecantShop.com. A great decant website to get rare scents, niche scents, designer scents, discontinued scents, and, um, and vintage scents. And something I've realized recently uh, about that website is that just so you know, there are other websites out there, guys, that are not giving the right amount in their bottle. You know, they'll put one ml in a 0.7 uh, bottle with the dab top on it. Lucky Scent does that, but they tell you it's 0.07. Some of the other decant sites don't do that. So you're actually getting less than you paid for. Where uh, decant shop measures before they go into the bottle, so you're always getting what you paid for. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you could learn a little bit more about that. Because if you're gonna pay for these really expensive juices, you might as well get what you paid for. And not, I'm not mentioning names, but other big decant sites aren't doing that. And so I'm going to put the link in the description. So even if a price on decant shop is the same as it is on another big one, you're getting more juice because the, the, the bottles hold more, uh, obviously, than in them, but they're pre-measured. And they're, they're the exact amount you buy. So link to that. I mean, again, that's just another reason why decant shop uh, is king in my game. Besides the selection, the prices, the speed, the friendly, uh, the, the owner, uh, Adriana, who's just great, they also give you what you paid for. And Max12, discount code Max12, is going to bring 12% of your entire order. So you'd be just a fool not to use it to go on this site and get some samples. Decantshop.com. So the first scent we're going to look at today, just so you guys know, is one isn't a, that's not available on Decantshop.com. It's one the owner sent me just to check out. Um, we haven't talked about this scent at all, and it's, or this house, actually the house, is called Slumber House. Slumber House is a U.S. house from Portland, Oregon. They have fragrances really influenced by street culture, graffiti, hip-hop music, and film. About 15 fragrances in the library. They're not too cheap. Most come in one-ounce bottles for $125, but they are extracts of perfume, and they're highly concentrated, so you obviously need a lot less. This one is called Vict, V-I-K-T, and it's a unisex scent that was introduced in 2009. Notes on the fragrance are Oud, Styrax, and Raven Sarah, which is Laurel from Madagascar. So very simple fragrance with dark but simple, uncomplicated notes. I get an Oudy Cedarwood vibe from this scent, which just has the faintest hit of licorice. Not bad, nothing too crazy, nothing that hasn't been done before. It's an interesting scent that definitely works well as a woody scent, but it doesn't have crazy or beastly projection. It's just kind of blah to me. If you've ever smelled Norn by Slumber House, you're used to real strength from that house and that just isn't there with this one it's very dry um, probably could have been called dry wood that would have been a very apt name for this fragrance if you like those kind of woody scents so definitely check this one out i'm definitely gonna give it a couple more whiffs as the quality here can't be denied slumber house makes very high quality scents uh, and this is definitely high quality but you can't get this one from decant shop anyway so let's leave that alone now next one is a creed scent guy this one is royal leather and this is a creed scent that i don't think has been officially discontinued but can be really tough to find creed says and i'll put you know take that with a grain or actually a bottle full of salt that this scent was commissioned for king george in 1781 i don't know i think creed's pretty delusional that doesn't mean they can't make good sense though um, supposedly the king loved his leather gloves and wanted to smell like that. So he commissioned Creed to make this scent. And your notes on this one are mandarin and bergamot, uh, ambergris in the middle, leather and sandalwood at the base. And guys, this is one of the most boring scents I've ever smelled in my life. I almost went to sleep uh, smelling it. I don't get a lot of leather here. I get mandarin and bergamot, but I don't see anything under that it's almost like it's missing the leather it's so light and uninspired i'm almost confused by this one a lot of people like this i think some people are creed said it's the best scent in the world i don't even know what to say to that a lot of people hate it it's a polarizing scent i wouldn't buy this the creed dated fragrances seem to all have a similar dna uh, this reminds me a little of Ossie Aluminum, but I like Ossie Aluminum a lot better than this. This is a definite pass for me. Creed Royal English Leather. Start the thumbs down on my video now. 
Next one is by Jean-Claude Elena. It's by the different company, it's Rose Poivre. Um, now, this is a rose scent that I've been wanting to get my hands on forever with all the fanfare it gets. A lot of other reviewers mention this, uh, with sometimes with Mal's Portrait of a Lady, Le Labo's Bay Rose, Amawaj's Lyric Man, as the best rose scents for men. We looked at Lyric Man and I, I thought it was very overrated. Uh, I would like one rose scent in my collection. I really like the regular rose scent that the Labo made, but not enough to make the purchase. This one really appealed to me. Um, I think Mark put it on his best spring niche fragrance list last year. And of course, uh, it is from the different company and master perfume, Jean-Claude Elena. It takes over 100 pounds of roses to produce a single bottle of this stuff. 50 mLs is going to run you 150. 100 is going to run you 220. Notes are Damascus Rose, Rose Bay, Pepper, Coriander, Vetiver, and Civet. And I'm convinced at this point that Jean-Claude Elena can just not let it clean note be a star of the fragrance. Rose or citrus, he feels like he's got to dirty it up, spice it up, get some NC-17 in there. Coriander and cumin seems to always pop up. And this is not the rose scent for me. I like it better than Lyric Mint, a lot better. But maybe I just don't like rose scents in general. I got to try the Frederick Ma one. Um, but to me, the, here, the cumin or coriander note comes off a lot of the time like body odor. You know, that's why I'm not in love with Big Array Concentrate or Declaration. Uh, this is a really well done scent. And I do like the rose aspect. But the coriander ruins it for me. You know, I, I guess I just need to... I'm going to keep exploring different company, though, because I know there are some gems in the catalog that other uh, reviewers really like, like Cell, De Vetiver, but this one is another pass for me. Uh, but I, I'm definitely going to keep, keep trying that. Now, my subscribers should know that I'm really getting into Montal Sands. Intense Cafe sort of piqued my interest, and now I'm trying to smell everything I can. And Decant Shop has a great selection of these. Great. This one's called Black Oud, and while you can usually find some Montel Slens slightly discounted online, I wasn't able to find this one discounted. So it's got that normal price structure, 50 ml 110, 100 160, which isn't bad for a fragrance of this high of a quality. Notes here are going to be Red Rose, Oud, Labdanum, and Sandalwood. So another rose scent here. Uh, now, almost every house that uses Oud in its library makes these sort of standard Oud and Rose scents. This is Montal's take on that. And it is as good as any you're ever going to get your nose on. It works wonderfully. It also does that explosive Montal projection and longevity. It is a truly beautiful scent. I think the blending between the Oud and Rose, the Oud and Rose here is really well done. The line is just towed perfectly. It's almost equal parts of each. And you've also got this sort of nice, dank Oud wood uh, with dark rose poking right through it. Definitely a winner. This, to me, probably is bottle worthy. I'm going to keep sampling it before I buy one, but I really like that. Now, the final one for this episode is an Angel Men Flanker. Um, I did a review of Pure Malt on this channel. I also have Pure Leather. I'm going to be picking up Pure Havan very soon. I'm not a huge fan of the original, but I love the bottles and do want to collect the wine, Pure Shot, and Taste of Fragrance as well. This one, for some reason, wasn't released the same way that Molten Havan wore. This is Pure Coffee. And because of that, the eBay prices are a little silly and run up to about 200 bucks, um, even though it retailed for about 90. This one was released in 2008 by Perfume Jacques Huclet, who did the original Amen and some of their other flankers. And notes on this fragrance are patchouli, musk, coffee, cedar, and vetiver. Now, if I didn't know Adriana at the decan shop, I'd think something was wrong with this. Maybe I got the wrong thing or something. To me, it opens with coffee. There's definitely a little bit of coffee at the opening, but as it dries down, it's just so similar to Pure Malt. I mean, that's just my nose. Maybe I can't distinguish it, but smelling it now, I mean, it has a little bit of sort of a, a, a light, almost iced coffee, sweet coffee note. But I think a lot of other Amen fragrances have coffee in them as well. So this one doesn't stand out for me at all. The coffee note doesn't shine through enough. Um, it's just the Angelman DNA with a sweet opening, I guess. I, as I said, I get a faint coffee note. I'm smelling it now. <laughs> it smells like pure pure malt to me, you know, a patchouli chocolate and, you know, maybe a little bit of caramel and coffee, but I wouldn't pay the prices that they want for this if, and I say if, they ever re-released it and sold it for $90, I might jump. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I need to explore a little bit more. But at this price, 
total ripoff, I think. So let's. I'll actually do the order that I like these fragrances. I think that's always good. Uh, I like Blackwood the best. Then after that, I probably like just as a fragrance, pure coffee. Uh, then I think it's uh, the Rose one, different company. Then it's Vict, then it's Creed Royal English Leather, which is a total waste for me. So that is how it's going to go. I'm probably going to buy Black Oud at some point. I'm going to get pure coffee if the price is right. I'm going to keep sampling the different companies' rows and keep sampling Vict. And uh, although I don't think I'm going to buy either of those two. And Creed Royal English Leather is just a, a gag to me. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's me. You know, may, maybe... Uh, it's my fault or my problem. I don't know. But anyway, that is this week's episode of Maximilian Must Know Sample Shopping. Next week is going to be my full starting lineup. And then hopefully maybe the week after that, we'll get back into sample shopping with a new batch of fragrances. If not, uh, next week, probably the one after. And I'm also going to try to sneak in a, a show on men's grooming, which I've neglected for a very long time. I want to do a show on face wash. The best face wash for under $10 it actually comes from Japan. And it is amazing. All guys should know this. So that's coming soon, as is um, uh, another collection video, the, the, the sixth one, and probably the, the, the last one for a little bit of time until I get the next 25 cents. I'm about seven or eight into that. So that'll be coming. And then a review of a, of a designer sent this week. And next week, hopefully, I'm going to be reviewing Des a full review of Lair Desert Mano Kim Andy Tower next weekend. So, anyway, thank guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to go to Decan Shop so you can actually get what you pay for in terms of how much fragrance you buy. Link to that conversation will be below so you can understand a little bit better what I'm talking about. Uh, and a link to Decan Shop will, will be in the description as well, as well as the sense we discussed today. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Maximilian. I must know. Deuces, be honest. White stuff to being up in them white clubs. Like, hey, I got dubs still pumping that white stuff. Plus, I fuck with the white boys, skaters and bike boys. We may act different, but the struggles are like, boy. You know, you know, if this a problem, I'm coming over, yo. Quick, fast, in a hurry, and I'll be there to overdose. And I mean that, just call if you need that. The best of both different worlds, not often they see that. Like, I don't know.